Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run through some little tips and tricks that might not be so obvious to some users. Okay, so this is using the rec tool. And with the rec tool, you've got this bar size option down here and nothing's happening because, well, they're all going to fit into that same box. So what you can do here is you can add a, uh, a stagger or a noise or an oscillator or something like that. So for this first example, I'll just use a stagger. And you can change the minimum and maximum. And you can just see how there's uh, slight changes there. And I'll increase this a little bit as well. And I'll uh, come in here and I'll just turn off this index color. And I've got my gap type. I'm just going to add a little bit of a fixed or alternating. Yeah, maybe alternating width. And then I can just increase that as well. You can get some kind of cool, cool effects to experiment with. And obviously that just, uh, it's going to change, change as you go. So another thing you can do with the rec tool, I'll delete the stagger as well, and I'll put on an oscillator. With this setup, everything has to be in positives, and that applies to noise as well. So I'm just going to make this 25, and I'll make this 200. And come down into our rec tool again. I'll just change this down to 8 just to get started. And again, nothing's happening. That's because we've got the stagger option in our oscillator. So just add a value in there, and away you go. Another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to none. And we just have our shapes moving back and forth like this. So what we can do is we can create a circle. pop it into a duplicator and change our distribution type to submesh. In the input shape, we drag our rec shape. And as you can see, now we have some circles that are all scaling and changing sizes. You can obviously hide this if you want and away you go. You've got the option in the circle here to change this as a semicircle, and you can see it doesn't quite line up. So click on the align tool up here. And now you have, now you have it as you want it. In the duplicator, there's also the option, option to fill all, scale to fit, and keep aspect ratio, things like that. This, these techniques obviously apply for both of these. The difference between these is, yeah, obviously just simple ones, horizontal, and one's a vertical rectangle shape.